Hi everybody, it's Rochelle again, your delightful crafter. Um, I'm coming you coming with to you today with a Tuesday morning haul. Um, I apologize for being absentee. Um, I was out of town for a convention, and then I came back and just had a lot of new hires that I've been processing, in processing and training, and um, working. A little extra anyway um, I I've been meaning to come to you and I just wanted to share this little haul I stopped by Tuesday morning today because I saw some wonderful treasures that were shared on um, cherished treasures uh, YouTube page I believe now there's a couple other that I follow um, I'm going to start mentioning them in some of my future videos. They're really great in sharing um, what's coming in, what's new at the Tuesday mornings, Michaels, Hobby Lobbies, Dollar Tree, so on. Um, so that we can um, have our crafty dollar go a little further. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. It's all about saving a dime and making something beautiful. So um, we're going to start with some of the beautiful paper. Um, I've mentioned to you I love vintage, so there's a little collection of vintage going on here. So, <clears throat> this first one is called Happy Days, and obviously as you can see it's the 40s and 50s, the little fast cars going on, the uh, soda pop tops, jukebox radios, soda fountains, um, just a really cute set. Of course, I picked up two because you know, we all know that um, I have a, I have an issue. Two is always better than one and I'm always, if I'm working on a project, I don't want to worry about running out of um, paper. So we're going to start with the product number and this is 197-2486. And let's just take a little peek inside. So first we're going to start off, look at this sticker sheet. So we got the jukebox, we have the little diner, front of a diner menu, happy days. Um, wouldn't we love to find a 25 cent burger these days? Dice, you know, got to have those little fuzzy dice hanging from the, the mirror. Route 66, um, I don't know how many of you have been down there, but I have. Um, it's kind of sad to you know, um, you look back and you're like, you go into these towns that were on Route 66 and you wonder what they were like in their heyday. Um, that's me. Um, so I just thought this was super cute. So let's get inside. Sorry for the noise. I will close everything back up after the filming is done. And so here's your cover sheet. And what I like to do with these, you know, I wouldn't throw this away because you can trim these pieces out and actually use them on cards. Um, I would even do the same thing with this sheet here. Um, cut them out and use them on cards or scrapbooks or junk journals. Um, so I'm always about um, trying to use everything that we can. And then we have cut aparts on the back. so. I would just use the cut aparts or the front. I'm not really big, like, like I've mentioned before, I'm not big into the journaling, so I don't know how many of these I would use, but hey. Then, isn't this adorable? I love old newspapers. I used to have a huge collection. Um, I had quite a few from World War II, and um, they got lost in the move. I was pretty sad, but I thought this is adorable. And then the other side, at a quick glance, I look at this and I either think of propellers or jacks. The game jacks, I don't know how many of you watching are old enough to know what jacks are, but I love to play them when I was a little girl. So that's what that reminds me of. And this one, I don't know. I think of yellow cab taxi or bingo cards, so I don't I don't know. Anybody can give me a shout out and let me know what you think it reminds you of. And then we have a yellow plaid going on. Cute little stripe page. 
and then of course you got to have your polka dots. And here we got our soda pop or bottle caps. Black cherry soda, love love, and root beer. Oh my gosh! Anybody who knows me, it's either root beer or cherry Dr Pepper are my are my drinks. Otherwise, it's water. And then we have a diagonal um, kind of pink plaid going on here. I could see a dress made out of this material, wallpaper maybe, or those uh, what those plastic tablecloths I always had used to have over the tables. Super pretty, like that. This is a little much for me. I'm, I'm sure I'll figure out something to use this for. Um, I kind of think Easter when I look at this, but um, I don't I don't quite know what I think of this page yet. And then we have a pink and white check. We have our little Harlequin um, print going on here. I love the pops of color. Super pretty. And then graph paper. I don't know how that fits in, but okay. And this one reminds me of Jack's too. So I think this is fun. I'm going to have fun with that one. And then we have a um, teal on green stripe going on. Our diner check floor or I don't know what the taxi stripe like that. And then your black and white stripe. Um, I would probably use this as a like a single layout page background or we can use the polka dot. And then, I don't know, cut aparts maybe, zip strips. And then we have a plaid kind of like gingham going on. And then our sticker sheet. I really like this public telephone. I think that's fun. So, how many of you remember going to the corner store and getting your penny candy? Um, I miss the Alexander the Grapes and Boston Baked Beans. Johnny Appleseed. Yummy, yummy. So that's that one. Got two of those. Oh. Then we have by Lori Whitlock. Um, it's called Reflections. And again, I got two. The code is 1972492 and uh, I saw this featured in somebody else's um, video. Um, like I mentioned I like to do a lot of traveling and so there are some prints in here I really liked. Um, I love this. So this is your sticker sheet. So I love the key. I do think life is good. I actually think it's wonderful. Do cherish the moments because you know Sometimes, you know, they just go faster than we expect them to. And so let's see what we've got inside. Sorry, guys. Um, that's my laundry going in the background. So, so, oh, here we go. We have bingo. Old clock. Five cents. So... Again, like I said, I'm not big on stickers, so some of these I'll probably remove the sticky on the back and pop them up, add some dimension. Love this. Kind of reminds me of a vintage wallpaper. Yep, that's true. Family means everything to me for always and forever. Love it. And then again, this is what I loved about this one for my traveling and my cruise uh, scrapbooks. The best things in life aren't free. Isn't that the truth? So, there's that. Um, got a little lace going on here. Cream on a green background. Our cut apart. Oh, my grandma had one of these. I'm still trying to find one. Love, love, love. Um, how many of you have been out... I, want, I think it's Colorado, where they do those uh, big balloon deals. When I was a little girl, my parents took me in. I still remember that to this day. 
and then more of that traveling so if the moments together it's the moments together that changes forever yes sir um, I don't play music but I do love it and I am absolutely in love with this I can't wait I got to live in um, Germany when I was a teenager made it up to uh, the Netherlands Belgium yeah love this absolutely gorgeous again I'm just I may have to go back and get another pack of this and hoard it this reminds me of wallpaper so another map and oh so this is looks like this is looks like a German dictionary so yep yeah, this is the German dictionary I don't know how well you can read that so yep then we have another looks like wallpaper I just I love this nice pops of color this will be really pretty accenting uh, some scrapbook pages and all my beautiful keys yes yes I want to go make some hot cocoa looking at this so more wallpaper oh. so I have great eyesight but my hearing is absolutely horrendous so yeah so and then we have our vintage clocks all these beautiful stamps love 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 so it looks like this is a mixture we've got German Canada that's what I, a lot of Canada and Germany so yeah yeah that is a gorgeous combination it is not um, it's a dark blue on blue or light blue on a really dark navy it's coming across as a green but on the camera but no we have our wood grain looks like some botany going on here and then our cut apart sheet which is the front so I am in love with this I think I'm gonna have to go back and get another one if not two more of those and then this one had me at the Victrola and the vintage typewriter I am trying to find this typewriter in like that really like what 50s teal I've seen one like this and I was bidding on it and it just got way out of hand and I just I, I wasn't gonna pay I think the final price on it was like 125 bucks and I'm just I'm too cheap but this this had me at the Victrola one of these days I'm gonna have to put up a video of my Victrola it's not like this one mine's a cabinet where you lift the lid and then you open the front doors and the front doors are your speaker but it is crank and I got to change out my needle with every um, play of a new record so let's take a peek I'm so excited about this one so I'm not so sure how I feel about all the papers but like I said uh, it was the Victrola and the typewriter that grabbed me so soda water has anybody been to like a, a real authentic soda jerk those are love them this is great this reminds me of some the little summer jumpers that I used to wear when I was a little girl by the way I was a little girl in the 70s so if that tells you anything some more wallpaper we've got trying to figure out this has names dates so this almost looks like it's a um like maybe a census or something supposedly because it's like listing dates and people who are at an address or something so yeah <clears throat> 
This looks all 70s to me. That'd be good for a Disney scrapbook. Love this. And this is, there's a lot of German going on here. I'm liking this. Kinderwagen. Um, sport, <laughs> Sportwagen. Too funny. We have polka dots. This has got the 70s vibe looking for me. Some more. Well, maybe this is used for log. I don't know. Quick look at this. It reminds me of uh, a thistle, but I don't think it's a thistle. Oh, so we have six by six by six of these other sheets, which is nice because this is actually in a. They're smaller prints. I like that. I think I'm gonna have to try and hunt down the six by six pad of this. This is fun. I think I see Easter in this one. Got a, a mustard color wallpaper going on. Real pretty. This is more of a blue than the green that's showing up. And then more of the 6x6. Six six. I really like this set. I think I'm going to have to get another one of this one too. And this is just fun. Absolutely love. We have a gingham going on. Large postage stamp. This could be a fun to do like a vintage collage on here and switch it out. I have those like um, shadow box frames. So I see both a cross in here and then flowers. This is a fun print. And then you have your strips here so that you can use these to accent pages or cards and a honeycomb pattern. And yeah, I think I have to go get another one of those. Yeah, I have a paper issue. And this one, what did I say? Typewriter, and then the the cameras loving, and the air the hot air balloons love this. So, I think. I'm going to love the papers in here better than the stickers, but the stickers are pretty wonderful. So let's take a peek. Oh, got our wallpaper, our music sheets. Looks like different, different, uh, I don't know, what do you call them? Scores? So a really busy crosshatch doily looking wallpaper we have a nice zigzag well, I guess you can use that for mermaid <clears throat> trellis but this has a specific pattern I can't I think on quatrefoils I think is what this is called and yeah that's busy love these stars some honeycomb going on this is really fun. I would love to have a ton of this print. It is like really soft pictures of it looks like a like a boardwalk, different different events or stuff at the boardwalk. And then all these wonderful cameras. Oh, love it. I'm thinking 50s. I could see this doing a cute little travel like I miss you card. Lime green, some more honeycomb wallpaper. This is more of like a creamsicle looking color than this kind of orange. It's it's coming up more rusty orange on my camera. And all the beautiful hot air balloons. I love love love. Beautiful color. Some more zigzag or she is it chevron I think yeah chevron more doilies okay this right here when I was a little girl I can't remember I'll have to ask my grandma I can't remember if it was Disney or if it was strawberry farms not Knott's Berry Farms in California they used to take me somewhere and we had these little lifts that we would ride through. Those were so much fun and you just don't see those anymore. And I really miss that. So all these cut-aparts and then the front. So 
I think another one that I'm going to have to go grab another set. Oh, I'm sorry. The SKU number for this one is 1972493. And this one is by Allison Craft and it's called Everyday Eclectic. If I forget something, if you post a message, I'll go look it up and I'll I'll put the information in the comments. I apologize. And then so the last one, I only got one of these and I got it for these houses. I have this thing, I love houses. And so anytime I see any kind of scrapbook paper that has a house on it, I have to buy it. I may save this for like when I'm a grandma to little girls. I think this will be a fun scrapbook for little girls. And I have to speed up because I am not sure how long this is going to take to upload. So I'm not too fond of the sticker sheet, but we'll, we'll see what I come up. A uh, quick look. This reminds me of a football field, but it's just a, a ledger sheet, green, cut apart with a cute house, green flowers, um, I think a bingo, but it's not bingo, and just a pretty pink on pink with some distressing on the edges, polka dots, some more Looks like these are hearts, stacked hearts. Have your stripe. Not sure what we want to call this pattern, but it's kind of pretty. Oh, I love that. I love these different pops of color. It's really catching. And I'm thinking 50s here. I don't know. <laughs> 50s uh, bowling alley. This is what that reminds me of. <laughs> And then I see this one, I think, what is it? Love American style. <laughs> I'm dating myself, aren't I? Too cute. I would see this on a beachy scrapbook page, maybe. And my houses. The whole reason why I bought this set. Uh, more wallpaper, fun flowers, some brown on brown polka dot with some distressing on the edges, more fun flowers. Um, yeah, see I'm never really big on pages like this, so that's eh for me. And yeah. So that's this one. The skew for this one is, and this is called Life is Good by Bella Road. And it looks like it's Echo Park. And so the, the number is 1972487. It's not, there it is, 1972487. Then I hit the ephemera jackpot. Um, our Tuesday morning must have just, they get this stuff in on Tuesdays, and it looks like they put everything out today while I was at work. Um, I'm not a big thicker person, but I thought these were adorable. Count the stars, today is the day, she's a wildflower, blissful, you are magical, hello, love, and hello, sunshine, adventure. So... I'm probably definitely going to use this in a scrapbook album for my daughter. Really love this. $1.99. Excuse one nine eight two three four eight, And it's by Dear Lizzie. Then, I think, uh, yeah, I got two of these. Because again, like I said, I travel. And I just love these. These are by Little Yellow Bicycle. Skew is 2012322. And they're they're thick. It's like they're they're foam backed. Of course, you know, the little hot air balloon. I'm flying everywhere. All the luggage. I really wish people would start doing like cruise ships because that's that's my jam. I'm I'm always cruising. In fact, I'm paying off a cruise this week. And I got this because you know how I mentioned I love fountain pens. Love this old telephone. 
don't know what I'm going to use it for yet, but I really like it. It's it's really, I can't tell if it's like on a fabric or what it's on, but I'll let you know when I open it. Skew on this one is 1985667. And I told you I like houses. So Artsy had this really cute little die set with matching um, stamps. $3.99, $201, I thought that was a really good deal. So I've been kind of collecting all their little houses that they've been having there at uh, Tuesday morning. And then I couldn't remember if I bought this already. This is um, They had these on sale about a month ago. Um, a whole like Tim Holtz release and I couldn't remember if I got this if I did this is probably going to end up in a future giveaway um, I sew quilt and you know like I love like I said vintage so I just really fell in love with the sewing machine and the scissors so one nine eight one four one four and they are a cling mount rubber so I'm excited to have those and then this is a uh, Picked up some of these in a haul the other day. Uh, I, yeah, that's it on those. So these are all Cartabella. Well, I take that back. This one is my mind's eye. But Beach Day, again, I got this for my cruise albums. These are this is what's inside this one. Um 8716. There you go, sorry. This one is called Home Sweet Home. And I just, I thought that was adorable. I could probably use that in like a, a scrapbook recipe album. Uh, 1958724. These are $1.99. I think it's a really good deal. I'm some of these I'm there's a whole bunch of them, so I may go back and grab a couple more of these. And then we all know vintage. I saw this. It was the only one, or else I would have grabbed some more of this one. Uh, one nine five eight seven two five. And what do we see there? We see my hot air balloons. Oh look, and there's even an old tall ship, old airplane. So I'm excited. I'm gonna try and find at least another one or two of these. So love, love. And then this one is by My Mind's Eye. It's called Hello Gorgeous. And of course, I felt when I saw her, that's when I had to have it. Her and the little lady up here in the, the little vintage swimsuit. So, and I may go back and grab another one of that. Then, I'm getting into the wood ephemera. And like I've said before, I adore Christmas. So I got two of these, 26 pieces, which was awesome. So there's wood, there's cork, there's all kinds of different material. They're really neat. Um, they're $1.99, uh, 2012338. This is like a, I don't know, it's, it's like a foam on the back and then a burlap and I, can't quite decide what that material is but I just I can't wait to use this either on cards or in a Christmas one of my Christmas albums so two zero one two three three eight dollar ninety nine great great deal then I got I'm thinking of my daughter or my and my daughter-in-laws or possible future granddaughters but love these 13 pieces these are all wood um, pieces two zero one two three four five dollar ninety nine aren't those beautiful I mean look at that you make my heart smile they definitely do so love those uh, I only got one of these I thought I grabbed two but apparently not but these are all wood dream big beautiful hello stay gold think happy be awesome good stuff fabulous and this one I just See my my this is my daughter, love love love, best day ever. Dollar ninety nine two zero one two three four one is the number on this, and these are all by Momenta. I, I I really love Momenta. They have they put some really good uh, craft items out. 
And then we have another My Mind's Eye in the Ephemera, Ephemera 1983743 for only $1.49. And of course the pineapple, I had to have it. Pineapple, flamingos, the little cacti, more. So probably grab another one of those. I just thought these were adorable. 1983743. Then, last but not least, um, I have the We Are Memory Keepers letterpress. I actually have three of them. And I couldn't remember if I had the brayer that goes with it. So I picked this up for only uh, $4.99. Normally $20, 200 Yeah, I've got three of these and one or two of the Evolution machines. I really love them. They're a good machine. So if you see them at, hot, at Tuesday morning, you should grab them because the price at Tuesday morning is, is great. And then um, scrapbook.com. I was just browsing around their clearance section the other day. And I already have a mint machine. I love Silhouettes products. But I paid full price for that one. Here's the entire starter kit. Um, and this makes personalized stamps. And it comes with three ink colors. I paid, with shipping, I paid, I think, $42 for this. You can't beat that because I believe the full price right now, you find it around $125 to $170 depending on what website you're looking at. So if you go to scrapbook.com and see if they still have this, definitely snatch it up. This would be a great Christmas present for somebody. Um, it comes with the software enough to make uh, two different stamps, um, four color inks, the machine, and a free trial subscription to the Silhouette Design Studio which is, they have really good programs. I, I love their designing, uh, uh, design programs to create your projects. And there, I think there's like five or six different size stamps that you can go out and buy. Um, I don't know if they're getting ready to clearance these out or what's going on, but I snatched that up, I think, to maybe give to one of my daughter-in-laws for Christmas. I don't know. So we'll see. Anyway, um, we have family coming into town this weekend, so I may or may not be posting another video this weekend. I had some more hauls that I just haven't had time to share. Um, I wanted to share some of the some of my close to heart, heart orders that I have um, had come in, some uh, Stampin' Up! hauls that I've done. But again, thank you for coming by. I know I'm a small channel right now. And I'm just really thankful for those of you who stop by and see what I'm sharing with you. Hopefully help you find something you're looking for at a good price. Um, if you can think of anything you're looking for, leave me a message. Um, I am a stalker online all the time for great deals, good products. And I will hunt them down for you and let you know. So again, thanks for stopping by. Have a good night. As always, happy crafting and take care. Bye-bye.